Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a cover using Canva Pro and also a free tool, a free AI tool. I do have the paid version, but you can still generate a couple of images for free. And then also I'll show you a free option that you can use as well. So the, the cover design is AI, and then I'm going to show you how you can edit it really, really easily in Canva using some of their AI tools. And I'm really, really pleased with the result. So let me know what you think. And I'm excited to show you this. So this is where I've been creating all of my AI coloring pages recently. And if you didn't see my review of this software, I will link that somewhere on the screen now. This is actually on a promo offer right now, and that is running out on the 19th in a matter of hours, or it might have already passed by the time you actually watch this video. But either way, it should still be available. So if you want to check it out, I will leave a link in the description. So the great thing about it is you can add, give loads of prompts to the software and then you get emailed when they're finished. So I've been getting a bunch of prompts from ChatGPT and then just copy and paste them here. Last night I added 50 prompts here and then I just left it and then came back in the morning. Then you can be really selective with all of the ones that you want to choose and you choose the best one. So, so part of this process is that I use some of my colouring pages as a reference. So if you have a different software or you don't have the software, obviously you can use whatever you, you're using or maybe you create your own colouring pages. But I use them as a frame of reference to create my cover so that it can use it as a, as a style reference, basically. I'm just going to show you then quickly some of the images that I got. I was going for a parrot theme. Because you can create so many images, you have the ability to just be really selective. So another thing that's really good about this is enabling the quick SVG or quick PNG export. So I think I'm gonna go with PNG. When you do that, you can just download the images right away. So I think what I'm gonna do is just do that in this case, and then you immediately get the download. So I'm just gonna quickly add these as I go. Uh, any ones that I like, I'll just add. So I've got a couple of different options for you. I'm on ChatGPT. You can have a free version of ChatGPT, and I believe you can have two images a day from Dali 3. If you, I think any more than that, you need to pay. I, I do pay for my pro subscription, but I have a workaround. I'm presuming you can still up upload images to ChatGPT on the free version. In any case, this is just a method that I use. You don't have to upload images, but it's just something that I do as an extra. So what I've done is I've uploaded some of the images that we've designed in the Nuria Creator, Nuria, or Nuria, I keep saying Nuria Creator, Nuria Creator. <laughs> um, and I've just said, could you create a coloring book uh, cover called Parrot Coloring Book based on the style of these coloring pages, please? And then it's come up with this. Now, this is an ideal because it's coming off the edge. I'm going to show you how you could edit it. But nevertheless, I would rather have one that has it at least within view or doesn't have it at all. So you could run it again without asking for the title and just um, have the image and then add the text later. So another thing that you could do though, let's say you only have two images available, you could click the image that you have generated and go to I, and you'll actually get the prompt that ChatGPT has used for DALI 3. And then you can go to another image generator that you can use for free and post it there and see what you get. So if you go to Bing, just Google AI, Bing AI image generator, and you can go there, you can sign up for free and you get a certain number of coins that you can use. And those are the fast generation, I believe. And then after that, it gets really slow, but you can still do it for free, I believe. So what I would do is just copy and paste the the prompt that we got from ChatGPT in here. And I really, really like this one without the titles. But you could go for some of these and edit the text. So I'll just show you how you can remove the text as well. So what I do next is I want to upscale these images. You can use a free upscale tool. I will link to some of those in the description. I have a paid one, so that's the one I'm going to use. So I'm working with an 8.5 by 8.5. You can find out the, the right dimensions that you need for the cover on KDP. So if you go to KDP cover calculator, I can link to this. So we're going to go paperback, send the color white, 8.5 by 8.5. And then it will give you exactly what you need. So you can actually download the template from here. So these are going to be the cover dimensions that you need here so if you want to pause the video write that down so you'll just go to create a design 
and then you want to go to custom size and then you want to make sure that it's in inches and then you will just put in whatever the dimensions are there and then what we want for these would just be a frame so you literally go to elements and search for frame and there they are and you can see all different shapes there and those are going to contain our coloring pages so i'll show you that in a second so i've uploaded this book now obviously this is one i didn't want because it's got the title coming off the top i'll just show you how to remove it anyway so there are a couple of options that you can do we could try magic grab we could try magic eraser and we could try grab text so we're going to grab text and we're going to grab all of the text Canva will often try and match the text as closely as it can. So this is the text that's come out, which is really good actually. So that's absolutely fine. So what we've got here is then we've still got this space. And really, we probably want this text down here. So what I'm going to try and do is use the magic eraser on this. Let's edit again, magic eraser. And then we're going to try and see what this does. So just go around it as carefully as you can. Then erase. So you might have to go over it a couple of times. Okay, this is looking much better now. Look how clear it is. But we'll probably get rid of this little bird because it's already disappeared. You don't want to go over the parrot. So let's go back to the image. And then uh, we're going to try and grab this parrot. So because we want we want more than one. So let's go to editing again. This might not always work. Okay, so we'll go to magic grab. And we'll see and okay it has grabbed the parrot so let's click on that if it doesn't work when you click it you can brush as well so it's not got done the feet so we're going to try and add the feet by brushing so we just go around you don't always have to be precise so it doesn't matter if you kind of go over a little bit oh, we've gone a bit far there but let's just try this anyway okay so once you've got the whole image sorted you want to grab it Okay, so this now should be movable. Look at that. And look at the behind. It's just not. So you could try and move some other elements. Let's see. I'm going to copy this again. Okay, so we've got that. Obviously, you can't see the whole thing. So I'm not sure how well this is going to work. Okay, so now we've got this as well. So that, wow. Okay, that moves up really well as well. So we're going to move this up. And then I'm going to put our parrot back. We want to bring him, oh, where's he gone? I'm going to bring him to the front, maybe down a bit. Maybe we might make him smaller. And then we're going to go back and get our text. Now, obviously, you don't have to use this particular font. You can use anything that you like. But this looks pretty good. So we're going to then, what we're going to do to the text is edit it. So we're going to go to effects. We're going to go to outline. And then I think we'll go for black you could obviously try different colors and then you can actually create more of a thickness so that it really so that it stands out i think we might change the color actually so what you can do is to match the color go to the color go to the plus sign and then the little dropper here take that dropper and you can choose a color that's actually on here so hmm, should we try the blue so i don't really like that one but we could make it darker Okay, so I've gone for a kind of dark green here. Now, you can obviously play around with this as much as you like. I personally think this looks pretty good. Obviously, we want to do the back. So what we can do from the back is we can get rid of these other images and just copy the background, okay? And then we want to copy and paste it and then just put this to the background. So you could go to layers and you can actually move these the, the image is back and front. So if you show the layers there, you can actually see where all the elements are. So we don't want that anymore. And we want this to be the same color. Let's say that, okay. And then we can upload some of our images to the, to the different pictures. We just literally drag and drop them. We want to also create a shadow. So go to edit, go to shadows, and then we've got all different options here. I like to do different ones. So, so I might do this as a, a lighter color just so this stands out. So I might go for, uh, I'm not sure. So we'll see. So I'm going to put something else here. I'll show you in a second. So we've got one. So it looks like it's sort of textured, if you see what I mean. Let's see, page lift. And then we want to add something. So we can take our parrot and put him. 
at the back as well. So, so we could also put our parrot here. So I'm not sure about this color. I think I'm going to change it back to a darker one. Uh, yeah, you can still see them. So you can actually also change the intensity of the, the shadow. So you can make it darker if you want to. And then you can also, you know, if you want to, you could change the transparency so it shows through a little bit. Have a little look. Just check that everything is right. So what you might want to do is move things up a bit because this uh, this is where the barcode is going to go. OK, so let me just do that. Now everything is perfect and we're done. So I hope you found this video useful. I do have uh, some other ones that I've created, other covers. If you're interested in me doing other future videos like this, please let me know in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe. I think it's a huge percentage of people that do watch my videos that aren't actually subscribed. And I know that's a common thing. But if you could subscribe, that would be great. And if you like this kind of stuff, please do give a thumbs up. Thanks very much for watching. And I will speak to you again very soon.